Hello, my name's Hilary Eden and I'm a pharmacist with over 20 years experience working for the NHS in the UK. Welcome to Hills Pills. In these videos, I'm going to provide you with some useful information about medicines that have been prescribed for you by your doctor. In this video, I'm going to talk about cytogliptin. Cytogliptin comes as 25, 50 or 100 milligram tablets. So whatever strength you're taking, whatever I say in this video will be applicable to you. Cytogliptin is a kind of medicine known as a DPP4 inhibitor and it lowers blood sugar, blood sugar in adults with type 2 diabetes. So it's used alone or in combination with other medicines including insulin to lower blood sugar to treat type 2 diabetes and it should be used in combination with a sensible diet and exercise. You shouldn't take cytogliptin if you know you're allergic to it and you also shouldn't take it if you know you've got pancreatitis or a history of pancreatic disease because cytogliptin has rarely been known to cause pancreatitis. Another rare but serious side effect is blistering of the skin and that's a condition known as bullous pemphigoid. So you should discuss with your doctor if you think you have that or you've ever had it in the past. The other things to discuss with your doctor before you take cytogliptin are if you've ever had gallstones or have got increased triglycerides, if you've ever had diabetic ketoacidosis, if you currently have or have had in the past any kind of kidney disease or kidney problems or if you're dependent on alcohol. Taking cytogliptin is very straightforward. The usual dose is 100 milligrams once a day, although that may be reduced to 25 milligrams or 50 milligrams once a day if you've got kidney problems. You take your cytogliptin with or without food or drink and as I said before, you should take it in combination with your sensible diet and exercise. If you take too much cytogliptin, you should seek medical attention. And if you forget to take your cytogliptin, take it as soon as you remember, but don't double up the dose and just take the next dose at the time it's due. You shouldn't stop take, taking cytogliptin suddenly without discussing with your doctor. Like all medicines, there are some side effects of cytogliptin. There are two serious but rare side effects. The first of these is an allergic reaction. So if you get a sudden onset of swelling with the mouth, face, lips or eyes, then stop taking the cytogliptin and go back and see your doctor. The other serious but rare side effect is pancreatitis. So if you develop a very severe abdominal pain accompanied with nausea and vomiting, that may be a sign of pancreatitis. And again, stop taking the cytogliptin and go back to see your doctor. The more common side effects of cytogliptin are that it can decrease your blood sugar to give you a low blood sugar, and it can cause abdominal side effects such as nausea and vomiting, flatulence or constipation. Although cytogliptin does cause a decrease in blood sugar, it's unlikely to decrease your blood sugar too low, particularly if you're taking it on its own. But it's more likely to do this if you're taking it in combination with other medicines such as metformin or a sulfonylurea, which are other drugs used to treat type 2 diabetes. Also, if you're taking cytogliptin in combination with pioglitazone, it may also lead to increased flatulence and can lead to swelling of your hands and legs. And if you're taking it in combination with insulin, you may get flu-like feelings and a dry mouth. The other side effects of cytogliptin on its own, apart from the low blood sugar, are it can lead to an upper respiratory tract infection. So that's a stuffy or runny nose, a sore throat, and you can get arm and leg aches. Like all medicines, there are some drug interactions with cytogliptin. So if you're being prescribed another medicine by a doctor or buying anything over the counter from a pharmacist, let them know that you're taking cytogliptin and that they can check there are no drug interactions. There's one interaction particularly to be aware of, and that's with digoxin, which is a drug used to treat heart arrhythmias. And if you take cytogliptin with digoxin, you may need to have your digoxin levels checked 
more frequently. Finally, driving with cytogliptin. Because cytogliptin can lower your blood sugar, you should be particularly careful, particularly if you're taking it with other medication, that you are not going to have a drop in your blood sugar. So just be aware of that. I hope this information has been helpful. If you need more detailed information about cytogliptin, please read the patient information leaflet that came with the medicine when it was dispensed by your pharmacist. If you haven't got a copy of this leaflet or you need another one, you can download it from www.medicines.org.uk. If you're taking other medicines, you might want to see my other videos. These are either available on YouTube or please visit my website www.hillspills.com. If this video has been helpful, please give me a like. Thanks very much.